What a magnum amazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Tuesday, 3-19-2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was, do you love yourself? Matthew 22, 37 through 40 says, Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. Do you love yourself? Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 6 says, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Do you love yourself? Leviticus 19.18 says, Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against a fellow Israelite, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. I leave you with this. Jesus said to love God with all of ourselves combined with loving our neighbors. The first and greatest commandment is not an either or. They are all inclusive, all or nothing. Some people claim to love God and themselves and not their neighbor. Some people claim to love themselves and their neighbor, but not God. Newsflash. Either way, you are missing an essential element of the love puzzle. Do you love yourself? Are you the get even type? Did someone do you wrong and it hurt to the core? All you can think about is going to make them feel the same way they made you feel. You plot, scheme, and act out your revenge. Do you know if that person feels the same way they made you feel when they hurt you? Getting even may have felt good to you here on earth, but it counted as a strike against you with God. You proved that you did not love God nor your neighbor. Do you love yourself? 1 John 4, 7 through 8 says, Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God, but anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God is love, and the reason the world is only getting worse is the lack of love from people claiming to love God. However, God's kingdom is not being built with everyone who says they love him. Love is is best seen in how great one sacrifices and how others are being treated. John 3.16 says, For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Do you love yourself? Luke 6.35 says, Love your enemies. Do good to them. Lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great and you will truly be acting as children of the Most High for he is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. When you love your enemies, it comes from being filled with the Holy Spirit which comes from Jesus which came from God. Loving your enemies is not natural and the Holy Spirit gives you the fruit of love that can that you can plant everywhere you go to be watered by God at a later time. When you have the gift of love from the Holy Spirit which enables you to love your enemy, it's a gift from God and it is easy to determine if you love yourself. John 13, 34 through 35 says, so now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. For your, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Are you a disciple of Jesus? Do you love strangers 
like you love and show genuine love for members of your family? Do you love your fellow church mates or is there bickering, division, jealousy, and hatred? See, love is more than appearance on the surface. It's what's in your heart. When the heat is turned up on a situation, do you run away or do you seek to revolve it as women or men? Love always produces a bigger person. However, at the end of the day, it's all in the name of God through Jesus because we are talking about love. Do you love yourself? Come to Jesus today. John 15, 9 through 10 says, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in his love. John 14, 15 says, If you love me, obey my commandments. Jesus loves us just as God loves Jesus. Who do you love? Are you obeying the Lord's commandments? Do you love yourself? See, the theme of love involves obeying the commandments of God to love him and everyone else. Put your love in one of three categories. In all three categories, there is a place for everyone. Euros, philia, and agape. Do you love yourself? Songs 4, 12 through 13 says, You are my private garden, my treasure, my bride, a secluded spring, a hidden fountain. Your thighs shelter a paradise of pomegranates with rare spices, henna with nard. See, this is an example of Yeros love shared between a husband and wife with God as the center. Do you love yourself? Philippians 1, 9 through 10 says, I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day Christ returns. This is an example of philia love, a brotherly love based on a shared interest. That shared interest is meant to be God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Do you love yourself? Romans 5, 8 says, but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Colossians 3.13 says, Make allowances for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. See, this is an example of agape love, which is unconditional love first shown from God and then shown from us to others. Do you love yourself? Our loving Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us and sending your son Jesus to die on the cross just to show us how much you love us. Psalms 63.3 says, Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. Heavenly Father, help us to understand 1 John 4, 20 through 21, when it says, If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people we see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? And he has given us this command. Those who love God must also love their fellow believers. Lord, you have shown us your love is more than just a feeling. It's an action and a way we show we love ourselves is to obey your commandments and everyone and love everyone else in the world, whether they treat us good or bad. Lord, I pray 
that everyone leaves a legacy while doing legendary things with love in our hearts as we give you praise with a glorious and inexpressible joy. Talking about and showing love for you as we serve others and then love ourselves. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.